Hello everybody and welcome to part 23 of my Salty Shaka series. Um, I'm going to make a quick change before we pass the turn. I think we should be burning Rollclaw down. Um, we have somebody healing in it. It's going to take him two turns to fully heal basically. It's going to take the city two turns to burn. And after those two turns we're going to be down here. So with all this jungle in between having a base of operations nearby I just I, I don't see that panning out um, but I do see that we're gonna be challenging multiple cities so I just wanna have all the happiness buffer that we can and that's been the whole point of my not annexing uh, Beijing from the start is to facilitate this sort of thing alright so I'll move the camera down here and we will pass the turn Ooh, okay. Well, this is interesting. He has badly damaged an MP and then encircled it. So we cannot escape, even though we have three movement points, because we'll be zona controlled anywhere we step. So I would interpret that as it is absolutely imperative that we kill this knight. I choose the knight because I think it'll be easier. Um, can we just take it from here? Uh, it doesn't look like it, does it? Alright, so we'll soften them up like this. Oh, okay, we softened them up to where it was the spear toss that killed this guy. So we still get the faith, that's very good. And we get his medic promotion, so that is also good. And now this guy can back all the way up to here safely. Alright, let's address all of this. Let's usually do that first, but, uh, that was cause for alarm. Border growth there... Even the love you continues to grow. And it's producing units at an acceptable rate, so we will continue to try and grow. Okay, so River Farm is worth noting. Um, I don't think this guy can reach that. I don't think this guy can reach... Oh, he can? No, he can't. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll have this guy come out. And uh, he can take over as Human Monument for now. We'll get this guy on the road and get the great general to here. Alright. The Mayas have denounced France. Polos. Even the Mayans have denounced France. Like, they went in on war together on us. Everybody's hating on France. It's so weird. We're so hated and yet everybody's choosing us over France right now. That's interesting. Alright, we'll uh, heal up for now just to kind of keep this guy protected from this. I don't know what's going on there, but uh, we will keep an eye on it. Okay, uh, pre-build road interrupt. Alright, all of our stuff is done, so we can now address this. Um, let's see here. I think next we should weaken this guy as much as possible. Okay, that's actually a good amount. And if we move him here, we can move the Great General here, and that allows him. This is kind of risky, but like I said, I just want to put as much damage into this guy as I can. Um, for that reason, we'll do this. And then he can just heal up in place. Are you a medic? You are. So that's good. Um, let's see here. Oh, good. That tile is available to us. So we can begin proselytizing. That's nice. Uh, we get across the river here. We could cross the river here, cross the river here, but it might be worthwhile to tap into roads and go from there. That remains to be seen. Uh, let's see. Speaking of roads, this guy hops on and starts doing some zip zip. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, Okay, I've been neglecting ripping up roads, so let's get on that. Uh, the city's developed enough. Um, in fact, I'm thinking about having this guy come back. He can help rip up the roads. I notice this city, this town needs to be developed into a river farm, as could this one. So we do need more workers over here, I would say. Um... We don't want to rip up these roads yet because we still have people coming over. In fact, next turn we can have this guy head to Poland. And then this guy can become America. 
There we go, that's going to work out better. We get, uh... Yep, I agree with that. Okay, we'll hop the river here to get over to this. Um, as for this guy, we can just come over here and kind of, like, keep eyes on this side. we got a couple of luxuries up here, so... Uh, heal up one more turn. I don't think we can sell off the mosque, but it's nice that it's producing for us at the moment. Ooh, okay. Free worker. Okay, uh, this works out better. So what we'll do is we'll have this worker actually head back to Warsaw, because with that guy going back there, this guy can go back here. Okay, and that'll allow us to develop river farms, repair, rip up roads, all that good stuff. Um... So next most important tile is probably this one, so we'll move here. We'll rip up the road first, and then we'll just do the farm from there. Uh, the prophet is coming over here to plant on the horses, just because that's the closest, closest place we could plant. Scout. All right, we had already seen a long swordsman come through here, and now we see a river of crossbows. But we do not see the swordsmen. I know they demounced France, but uh, I think it would be foolish for them to declare war on France unless our efforts against France have been so effective. Oh, look at that. They actually are. The Mayans are militarily superior and <clears throat> the AI seems to have a way of knowing approximate distribution. So he might realize that France is weak here and strong here, if that is in fact the case. Or alternatively, he's literally marching through France to come for us, which, uh, I don't know. I guess what I'm getting at is I kind of want to not be seen. And it would be really nice if they made their intention clearer, because they can't see us. So if they are marching through and we go unseen, we can... Uh, let them waste all this time coming over here while we're using the time killing off all of his units, taking over Nasus, and going from there. I think that would make the siege on Paris a little bit easier. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Well, then I think what I should do with this crossbow is come down here uh, because he can step here then, and then we'll have eyes into this. Because uh, these guys are coming through pretty quick, like so. Uh, because they are a conda MPs, which is great. And for this reason, we'll bring the worker here for scouting purposes. Our two great generals are clumped, but as we get down here, we're going to be splitting kind of east and west, probably. So that'll probably be their configuration. Um, let's see. I think we can probably do this in a way that we don't... Alright, he's here, so one of them's going to come down here, one of them's going to come down here, always. And then we'll do something like this. There we go. Um, these two can cross... He's crossing the river there, he crosses the river here. So we can come through their uh, Kabul's lands to land here, or we can just go around. Um, right now we're not seen by Kabul, and I kind of like that idea, so let's do it this way. And we'll bring this guy down to... They're overlapping right now, but that's okay, we'll get on that. Alright, that seems to all be addressed. As for over here, we are whipping these units out real quick. Uh, let's take a look at our unit supply. We know that when we lose row claw next turn, we're going to be losing one and a, or excuse me, two and a half on the other unit supply. Um, so we're still good. I think I want to have him come over and build like a road stem here, because um, as quickly as we're whipping these units out, we could probably begin a push. You know, sooner rather than later. We got plenty of gold stocks as far as like you know, having multiple fronts of war draining our coffers. Oh, look at this. We'll go ahead and take that. Thank you. That's actually going to hurt our unit supply, but only temporarily. So, all right, let's take a peek at what happens here. All right. Okay. Great scientists. Alright, 
killed a Greek spy. That's good. And great person is born. This, um, I really think we ought to bulb it. Like I said, I think we're in end of days. Um, we don't have a place, a good place for another academy. Let's go ahead and delete this guy. Um, and the sooner we get to industrialization, the sooner any crossbow that has the range promotion. In fact, I was going to bring this up. Um, I had mentioned earlier that you should generally take uh, logistics over range. This is now a point in the game where I would reverse that. And the, the reason being, obviously, that any crossbow that does not yet have either one being on the threshold of becoming Gatling guns, the range will be more important because they stay relevant while getting significantly stronger. <clears throat> All right, so now that that's been addressed, let's just go ahead and bulb that. It gives us economics. I think I was looking at it earlier. I don't think we have any camps in our main cities, but we might in our puppets, so this might actually just be more gold straight away. Uh, new camp. Um, that is an unfortunate place. I don't know that we have the manpower to devote just a second. Uh, we did just have like a death squad come over here. I'm thinking about just piling everybody up here and getting this started. Because we can always, you know, continue to produce in the background. Uh, because we destroyed the road stem here, so we get slowed down here. Um... Yeah, I mean, we are building a road across here, so we are a little sensitive. Um, let's see here. With this crossbow here and no way to hit it, I think it makes sense to bring this guy down here. Or, wait, is he medic? He is, okay. That's good, because I was just thinking maybe we step this guy out here, so we shoot him. And we can shoot him from there, and that's enough to kill him. That is great. So now the medic can back up in, in among everybody else who's already healing, so there's that. Um, we get this guy across the river, which means I think we should do this. And that means I think we should do this. And so we'll have him step back and shoot like so. We're still within the range of the Great General. Um, let's see, he can get there like so. That's good visibility. Alright, so this camp, let's see here. He's kind of coming in as a backfill human monument for Greece. And he can be another. We're kind of weak on our MPs, as you can see. We're caught healing everybody up. This is the underpromoted army. And they're slowed down because we don't have many medics over here. Um, this guy's influenced by two, so that's nice. Uh, so yeah, we'll get a second MP down on the southern front because we got we're gonna have multiple push like that. Okay, this whole area looks pretty good, so he'll be backfilling, and that means we'll have five crossbows. That's actually plenty. So was he the one that was actually going up to be? Yeah, probably. Poland. Yeah, okay. So I should not have curved down here. I should have curved up. We would have been here, and then here, here, here. Whereas one, two, three. Yeah, we, we lost at least a turn. Oops! I should have counted that out ahead of time. That's too bad. Um, I Mostly I just wanted to see how reasonable it would be to step back, but that's not the case here. Okay. Well, um, I suppose we could send some people down over here. Um, we send this guy uh, like so. We'll have the crossbow take his place on the way over there. There's also a crossbow coming out here next turn. Um, and so we will... Okay, so we have three MPs over here. What we definitely want to do is have this guy be the human monument back here, so he has a chance to heal up. He gets on. Let's get over here. Blocker. Blocker. And then we can backfill with uh, composite bowmen. 
uh, worker comes over here to start a road stem, so let's just get the Great General over the river. It's looking like me, we might want to be starting something with Mechasar here soon. Alright, so I think we've addressed the camp. Um, no longer ally of Iffy. Uh, they are strategically located in a way that it would be nice to keep them. Um, but they're not. it's not like they're sending units towards France. You know what? Let's just take them. Uh, there's no reason not to, I don't think. Um, okay. Uh, equal exchange rate all across, so we can just give the bare minimum. <clears throat> Which is nice, because we're not trying to make any long-term decisions, really. Uh, let's see here. So, I'm liking, on the home front, we're not going to count this death squad that just took off. Um, so we'll have... Um, we'll have a crossbow here. Okay, so we're in this little skirmish potential here. We've got three MPs and one, four MPs in a crossbow. So let's build crossbow here. Uh, I see somebody wants horses. Alright. And we will delete this guy so as not to stretch our unit supply. Uh, let's see here. That's a nice hill. I might... Uh, ooh, look at this. Take that one. And uh, we'll come back for eyes sake, but I think we'll probably want to double up on this. We don't want to consider ourselves safe from Germany. Um, so we're going to continue here. Uh, here we go. This guy comes over here. This guy comes up there and stays there. Alright, we ripped up the road here. Uh, it's only going to take two turns to repair this hill, so let's just do that, and that way we can rip up the road here. Uh, this guy comes over, he'll rip up the road here. Uh, once the two crossbowmen are in position, we can go ahead and eliminate. Well, actually, no. Once the one that's going to Poland crosses the bridge, then we can pluck these ones because the other one getting over here slowly is not a, a problem. Alright, let's have this worker come here for visibility. It looks safe, so let's get a melee presence in there. Um, let us have this scout take a peek at what's going on. Um, okay, so not sure what that's about. I know I said I wanted to end up with a crossbow here because now we can actually shoot into this little visibility pocket and we can go from there. So let's, let's get this guy over here. Um, there we go. Great General comes down here to support this forward push. Oh, look at this. This guy's actually coming over. Well, hopefully it's not too far. And we can have this guy come here, and that way he's also not seen by these. Alright. Um, so this great general comes here. We'll come down here. Roll claw is gone, so that's not weighing on us any further. There we go. Okay. Uh, he was coming back like so. You get started on the river farm. And you hop onto the road so we can get over there a little quicker. And you start to convert. Okay, this will pull Catholicism off, probably. Yeah, okay. And then the next one should give us a majority. All right, we have one movement point left. We don't want to step here because we don't want to be seen by them. We don't want to stay here because we don't want to be seen by... Well, maybe not. Uh, this is a hill. So let's just sit tight here. We can't be seen by them, but we can be seen by the borders. If they want to start coming back just for the scout, we can punish. And this way he should be able to step onto and get off, give us some visibility. And in fact, let's move this worker here where you can dangle. This gets us really good visibility as far as his forces and where he's putting them. It's, it's a strange configuration, I would say. Um, but nevertheless, it is an interesting one. So let's keep an eye on this over here. I forgive you. Oh, he actually shot the crossbow. That is unexpected. Okay, so over here, I'm guessing the uh, crossbow is more important to us than the trebuchet. The trebuchet is actually going to be kind of weak. Uh, this, yeah, we can just disregard it. 
Um, that's this camp here. It's the only one. Yep. All right. So we disregard that. Promotions. Rough. Loins. Chest. Excuse me. He's brand new. Uh, rough. And we'll have the other one be the one that comes out here to help with the camp. One, two. Oh wow. I should definitely have moved this guy first. I had no reason to suspect that. <laughs> No reason to suspect that at this point we would still be getting barbarian camps with archers in them. Okay, this road stem is finished, so we'll pre-build there. Uh, well, I mean, what do we got pre-build there? Okay, so one, two, three, probably one, and then they just finish. So I'll have this guy finish here and then just backfill like so, and then he can do these. Should be good. Finally, the city converts. Let's get us a pagoda in there. Um, and I always point out stuff like this so that you guys can learn some min-maxing. I failed here. I should have gotten eyes first to see if pulling away. Because right now we can be stacking up on the border here, and we probably should. Um, not because I suspect an attack, but just because we can um, do better, basically. Uh, so we'll have him come into here. He's still in our borders. Uh, Great General comes here. Still in our borders. Still in our borders. Still in our borders. Okay, so this is a good defensive posture for the moment. That protects our civilian. And unfortunately, this crossbow is going to have to sit tight. Um, I don't think he's going to be able to make it back in time. So we might have him come here, run to relieve him so that he can get to the front line. It's probably a good thing. Okay, so two build projects. Um, let's build MP over here and crossbow over here. Or let's count this up a little. I mean, because there's a crossbow here and a crossbow here, we could just have both do MP and have them relieve these crossbows if we want more crossbows on this uh, front. Um, so we're going to free this one up right now. This one's coming out. Yeah, I think MP MP is the way to go here. It's nice that we have this flexibility, these three cities churning out everything we might need. I had a suspicion that's how it was going to go. Um, this... Hmm. Let's take a look at this. We know we're going to come at least to here. If we come here, we kind of get over here a little quicker. If we come here, we get across the river quicker. We have plenty of support over here. They're just in the process of healing. Um, and he has the Great Wall, so this guy cannot hit that. Uh, but we can do this. We can do that. Okay. And then probably have the Great General hop over so that he can influence everything that's going to happen over here now. Uh, let's see. So he can only shoot this. And I'm wondering, do we shoot this with this and then have this guy come over? We'd be on the river, probably be a little exposed, but we would be able to pillage back off. Back off. Uh, something like that. Or just do the damage we can. I don't want to leave our archers exposed as part of the problem. And you know what? We can actually... Yeah, I like that idea. Let's bring him in. This gives us eyes. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's not that bad. And then we can push in like so. Um, which means if we wanted to push in on the trebuchet, we could have one guy hop up here, another one push in, get all that flanking going on, be a little offensive about it. It's probably worthwhile, but... 58, 50, 63. So 63 and 58 are... Our good guys. So we'll do like so. Um, so this guy, luckily there's a river here. So we get three hits on him, all range. So the multiple forms of cover we have should be good. Alternatively, we got two shots onto here, plus the bombard, plus him, which is weakened, plus that. Uh, but he's at full health. Both are under the influence of the Great General, so that's fine. And let me just think about where our medics are. There's a medic. There's a medic. Uh, we will leave him in borders for one more turn, probably. Alright, and here we go. 
That should... I don't like that delay, but it is nice that it finally goes over. Alright, so they'll be friendly with us. Maybe we pay our way into allyship just to get the visibility. Don't know yet. Alright, anything we can do to relieve that unit supply is a good thing right now, because we are tapping out, even though we have... <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Alright. So because of the road system and we got bridges and stuff, this is a perfectly safe tile to be on. Gives us visibility. So I will continue with that. Uh, we will rip this up now and then probably put a farm down while we wait for everybody to cross over. Or this guy to cross over. Uh, he's going to come up here. Right. So yeah, let's do this. Looks like we got plenty of representation up here. Uh, he's heading to Poland, right? Okay. We could take his great general, but our MP would be very exposed. Okay. Well, um, this guy is definitely going to be shooting this always, right? Alright. And then he can get in here to help with flanking and just flanking and acting as a lightning rod of sorts so yeah I think he's always going here uh, we can move this worker over here for visibility okay we had reason to suspect that most of France's army is over here Um, but that's still not good enough because this is a significant threat while we're under the influence of the Great Wall. <sighs> My point being is, do we take this Great General just because we can, or do we take the Worker because it gets us face-to-face -face with these guys? I think going toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys makes more sense in general. Um, stepping forward was definitely a good idea because then we get more visibility. There's roads here, so it's not even all that clear how safe we would be in either position, but I do think getting in these guys' faces is better. This is going to be a disaster, though. That's very problematic. <clears throat> okay. But let's at least come and do this. Spear throw should be enough. Apparently it is. Uh, this will probably be an early pillage, and we do have multiple workers around now. So let's just go there. Can step up here, get some eyes. He has got a lot of swordsmen. Um, and that's kind of a problem. Alright. So, Great General has to come here, because that influences all of our front line. This is the only way these guys get to keep marching forward. Uh, luckily, as long as we have eyes on the city tile, they can pretty much set up like here and here. I'd really feel better having blockers in front of them, though, so let's make every effort to get that into as a reality. And unfortunately, there's no good way to do this here, so we'll just do something like this. Um, let's see, this great general is going to want to come down here. Um, for now, well, he's covering everybody except for over here. Is that reason enough to have this great general come here? Uh, maybe. We're going to have to maybe have this great general come here while he comes down here. As long as everybody's covered, we'll do whatever it takes. Um, <clears throat> we have a, ro a river farm we can build here. We have road tiles that we don't need being here. Uh, so we'll probably rip up the road tiles first. We can hop on, come here, rip, come here, rip, pre-build, build. Seems to be good. It gets us over there. Yep. Wow, this is getting ugly. Okay. Uh, this not so much, although I don't like how many damaged... MPs we have exposed, but we got Archer stepping in, so it shouldn't be too bad. <clears throat> I also don't like this missionary in the way, but... I moved the mouse over the as I passed the turn. Okay, well, we're at the half-hour mark anyway, so I'll just call it here. Uh, just a reminder, when this does happen, the turn was completed. It just, the game fails to give it back to... Uh, the player. So um, 
whenever I reload the most recent autosave, it will be next turn. Um, and I would totally do that now and splice it in post. But like I said, we're at the half hour mark here, so let's just do it this way. Uh, please leave a like if you feel I've earned it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next part. Take care.